today I'm going to show you a bucket plugin tutorial on CTF and some people wanted me to do this because some of the videos was really hard to understand so I'm going to show you a few of how to do this so first of all you have to download it so I'm going to download it comes into a zip or dot jar Okay, once it's done, you open it up and put this here. I'm going to go fast, put it on my desktop. Put CTF right here. The dot jar. Alright, so, okay, so get out of that. Alright, so open up your bucket server. Go into your plugins folder. And I recommend to have some, uh, you, actually, you have to have this, some type of world generating plugin. So I use Multiverse. And also have tag API for like colors on above name to know which team is which. So put CTF right here. There we go. And then run your server. There it is. Now I have to say stop. Go to your plugins folder click on CTF. Inside classes there's nothing right now so what we're going to do now I'm going to delete this and then replace this with this and inside of this this holds all the classes so the class like does something like special or just have like weapons to kill someone and you run your server again And there we go. It loads all of this, uh, all of the classes. So you can also program your own class, but it requires you to program it right now. So that's it for installing the basics. So now I'm going to show you how to configure the plugin. So right here we have broadcast, and this will broadcast in the game. So soldiers can climb up walls with with right clicking so you can edit this however you want and make messages appear over here I'm gonna click on this okay right here it says player to start so like there has to be at least this amount of players before the game begins and then broadcaster time so how long the game will go on for and then minimum minimum of players so one and then team B and team A, so what it will say for each team. And then chat mode, HUD, and auto. Auto is like if uh, you log in, if the game begins the moment you log in or not. So usually I do that for true if it's a dedicated CTF server. And then the language is EN, which stands for English. Alright, so this is pretty much the same thing as broadcast, except for it's the messages that appear when you die or something. So you killed yourself. Usually I change that because sometimes they don't actually kill themselves. So you can edit this however you want. And then classes later, I'll show you how to create your own class. But I have to open this up in here. But you pretty much have to put it, put all of this in Eclipse or just program it yourself. So that's it for the configuration. Right now I'm going to show you how to set up a own world where you can put your arena or just the beginning of basics of creating your arena. So first do MV create. You're going to create this world. So make sure it's CTF and this map down here and then the arena name slash map name. So, in this case, I'm going to say island, like always, ah, just like that. So, MV create, and CTF, map, right here, and then island, normal, and then I wait for it to generate. Alright, so after that, you can go into the world. Alright, just a little 
trovati Okay, so I'm going to create arena over here, I guess. So I'm going to create arena and I'll be right back. So I found my little area. It's not the best area, but I'm good enough to show a tutorial. So right here, we're going to start the little game again. So what you're going to do is CTF start. this start and then do slash class and choose your little class okay so now that's loading I'm gonna go and get lapis so you need a lapis and never rack and then you'll need a fence okay so now what the red never rack will do is the red team and the lapis will be the blue team. So I'm going to put the red team right here. I stand right here. So this will be their little base. I mean, for, before I do all the spawns and stuff, I'm going to first put in here. So then this will be where the flag is. And this will be where the flag is. And then over here I'm going to put the opposite thing. This. Yeah, my computer is really slow. Okay, so after this, I'm going to do slash CTF set and then spawn for blue team. So right there, so spawn location set. And then I'm going to, first I'm going to do spawn locations. And then you do the same thing on the other side except for it's for team A. Okay, if I can stand right here. Okay, so slash ctf set spawn a there we go okay so now for the flag so stand on your fence if you can it takes a little practice and then do slash ctf and then set flag it's spawn flag okay and then this is the red team so a gonna move over to the blue team right here like I said it takes talent alright so now we're gonna do slash ctf set flag b okay so that's set and now after that it will be uh, we have to set the little lobby spawn where just people will just wait and just spawn around this area so I'm going to do slash ctf set There we go. Okay, so after that, you're going to do slash ctf save. So if you edit anything in the map, do slash ctf save. And then do slash ctf next. Go faster next. If it loads. So yeah, I need a different person to start it. So after that, just needed to do that quickly. Oops, I'm gonna do the last touch. Okay, so I did everything correct, and I don't have really t my second account on right now, but uh, it should work once you have a second account. If you don't, then comment below and tell me the problem, and I'll see if I can help you. So that's what you do for the very beginning, I mean, the very beginning of setting up the whole entire thing. So then now you're free to play, and it's really fun. But the class soldier can climb up walls, so you might want to make it really high or just put a ceiling so then they can't like get out of the arena. Okay, so next thing is sponges. So, kind of like the real CTF and the other servers, they have the sponges that can make you go like far away so then you don't have to go so far, like just walk that way. So you can just step on this and you can control the way it works. And if I was in survival mode, I probably would have died. So, uh, okay, so, yeah. So you can keep doing this and fix up the sir, fix up the sponges the way they aim, the direction, and it's really fun. So that's pretty much how simple it is to set up 
the sponges and the CTF plugin. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, like or subscribe if it really helps. If you have problems, it's okay to give it a dislike, but if you do, please comment below the problem that you was having or why you disliked it. Anyway, thanks.